Hi everyone, Kenny Hua here. Welcome to Let's Play Together session. Alright, welcome back to Ukulele Aerobics week number 21. Today is actually Monday. We are going to do some chords exercise. Okay, so let's take a look at the score. Alright, so today we are going to learn five chords in total according to the score here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so they are all movable chords translated from one to another. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. The first one, as you look at it, the book says it's actually A sus4. Actually, it's not A sus4, it's actually A7 sus4. Okay, so how to press the A7 sus4? You just have to use your second finger, your middle finger, press on the second fret of the third strings and leave the rest of the strings open. And this will become your A7 sus4. Okay, A7 sus4. A7 sus4. Okay, A7 sus4. So if let's say you are actually doing a A chord like this, okay, if you want to become a um, A sus4, you just have to do the same. Just replace the first finger with the third finger on the second fret of the third string. Okay, you will become your A sus4. A and then A sus4, okay? So if let's say you are going to actually translate this from the A7, so A7 is like this, on the first fret of the third string, and you move on to the A7 sus4, you just have to switch to this one, second finger here on the second fret of the third string, and this is why we call this the A7 sus4, okay, A7 sus4. So from A7 sus4, if you want to actually translate into the higher pitch, which is actually um, uh, B7 sus4 or actually C7 sus4, like this case, the second chord is actually C7 sus4, we just have to move three frets upwards, okay, three frets upwards. When you move one fret up, you need to bar all the rest of the strings on the first um, fret here and then second and then third okay so third this is actually your c7 sus4 so from a7 sus4 translate to c7 sus4 okay so c7 sus4 why is it three frets upwards okay so a to b is actually full tone so you need to move two frets and then B to C is actually half tone, so you need to move another fret upwards. So total is actually three frets upwards from the A. All right. So from A, you move on to B. Okay. B to C, one more fret. Okay. So that's why it's actually C seven sus four is three frets upwards from the A seven sus four. So this is actually C seven sus four. Okay, so this concept is actually pretty easy. It, once you know this logic, it's actually, actually pretty easy for you to translate one chord to another. All right. So next we are looking at the third chord, which is actually the D7 sus4. If you look at the um, book here, they also mentioned before C7 sus4. That is one of the chord that we learned before on the week number four. You just have to bar this first and second string on the first fret here. Okay, this is your C7 sus4. So C7 sus4, in this case, if you want to make it to become a movable chord, you can't actually use your first finger to press this already. So you need to probably use the second and third finger to help you. And then if from C7, you want to move on to the D7 sus4, right? So C to D is full tone, you need to move two fret upwards. So one and then two. So whenever you move up, you need to bar the rest of the cover the rest of the string so from here you need to move one and then two that's why d7 sus4 is such that like this okay this is d7 sus4 okay d, so this is actually um d7 and then d7 sus4 okay so d7 sus4 and also d7 is actually always we can actually um, from the root root um, chord, actually we can add a sus4 or sus2 just to spice the, um, the, the, the chords up, okay? So it's actually pretty useful to know the chords. So this is actually D7 sus4. From C7 sus4, move to D7 sus4 here. Okay, next, the fourth chord. 
that we are going to take a look is actually E7 sus4. Okay, so by the way, D7 sus4 is here. Okay, if you want to translate into E7 sus4, D to E is actually full tone, so two fret upwards. So this will become your E7 sus4 as well. Okay, compared to this, uh, the fourth, fourth chord here is actually E7 sus4 also, but it's actually with the open strings on the uh, second string. Okay, so this chord you can actually because we need to utilize only three three fingers so you can use the one two three on the second fret respectively on the fourth string third string as well as the first string on the second fret so this will become your e7 sus4 okay e7 sus4 okay and if let's say you want to play the e7 okay you just have to move this note okay this uh, A note, A note, move back to the um, uh, move back to G sharp, okay? G sharp or call it an A flat. So this E seven. So this chord you will actually use tomorrow on this uh, strumming exercise, okay? So bear in mind, E seven sus four is like this, all on the second fret, and you want to move this to F seven sus four. You just need to actually move another what how many frets one fret upwards okay e to f is actually half tone uh, same goes for b to c it's half tone so you need to move only one fret upwards okay so one fret upwards in this case because you want to make it a movable so you might want to change these fingers from one two three to two three four here okay two three four same on the second fret Okay, and then move on to the F7 sus4, one fret upwards, and then you need to cover the second strings on the first fret. And then this will become your F7 sus4 from E7 sus4 to F7 sus4. Okay. Okay, so this is F7 sus4. So bear in mind always this um, suspension fourth uh, chords, you can always go back to the root. Okay. So it's either the root, uh, like for example, C7 sus4, you can go to C7, and then from C7, you can go back to C, or um, like for example, F7 sus4, you can always go to F7, and then go back to F also, okay? It's pretty um, much uh, nice sound to hear as well, okay? Like for example, in the tomorrow exercise, E7 sus4 is like this, and then go back to E7, okay okay it's nice to hear okay and uh, if you want to move on to um, C7 sus4 here okay again same thing C7 sus4 move to C7 and move to C so C C also you can add this finger here to become C as well okay so from here okay so this is c c sus 7 sus 4 c7 and move on to c so these all the chords that i want to deliver today total five chords first one is actually a7 sus 4 all right second one c7 sus 4 you change your finger on the third on the second fret here change to third finger move on three fret upwards this will become your c7 sus 4 Right, next D7 sus4, you either move another 2 fret upwards to become the D7 sus4 or you actually translate from the original um, open string C7 sus4 here, right? Change the fingers and then move on 2 fret upwards on the 2nd fret on, of the bar. Okay, this will become your D7 sus4. So from D7 sus4 also, you can translate to the next chord which is actually the E7 sus4. Just move 2 more fret upwards. So this will become your E7 sus4, but for the open string wise, you can change to this one. Okay, from here, change to here. Alright, so this is actually the fourth chord and the last chord of the day, which is actually F7 sus4. Just change your first, second and third finger to second, third and fourth finger. Okay, and then move two fret upwards. Okay. Sorry, uh, just move one fret upwards to become your F7 sus4, okay? E7 sus4, move to F7 sus4. 
Alright, and that's all for today on all the chords. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel below. Click the subscribe button and also turn on the bell so that you can get the latest update on this video series. And if you think this video is actually useful for others, do share that out as well. I believe you should have learned something today. Alright, so I'll see you tomorrow on the next exercise. Uh, take care and also see you tomorrow. Right, take care. Bye-bye.